Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. I just realized my screen was not up. Oh, you couldn't see my sign. Hello, buddies. Hey, you guys, thanks for being here. Um, did I say my beginning? Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. Uh, I think I forgot I was sidetracked with fixing my screen. Anyhow, if you're new to the channel, I share with you items to be on the lookout for items you can typically buy low and sell high. This is a Easter bolo category of video. I did one of these a while back, but I love, love, love the Easter bolos. So we are going to get started. Here we go. I need to be a little quicker at getting the screen share up if I'm going to go. Here we go. <laughs> All right. The first bolo we have is paper mache. I will tell you guys, if I find paper mache and it is a good price, I buy it, buy it, buy it. I do really well with paper mache items. They are super cute and people collect them. This is a vintage German paper mache Easter bunny. It's a candy container with glass eyes. How cool is that? It's sold for $172.50 with 54 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is these vintage Easter bunny chicks. Um, They've got like little feathers on them. They're made in Japan. I always look for made in Japan ornaments, um, little uh, things like this. I have some uh, vintage, what do you call them? They're like little skiers that kind of look like this. And they're made in Japan and they're Christmas ornaments. And they are super, super cute. I have not sold them yet, but I am waiting on the right buyer. But these are adorable. These sold for $100 with 52 bids. There are 12 of them. Very, very cute lot. I can totally see why this went up to $100. I mean, I wouldn't pay $100, but I would definitely buy this to resell for $100. Very cool. And the buyer paid shipping on that one. The next item are these vintage spun cotton chips. Oh my goodness. Not chips, guys. Chicks. Cotton chicks. And they're in the original box. They're also made in Japan. Made in Japan vintage items seem to do really, really well. But these sold for $208 with 51 bids. How cute is that? Very, very cute. The next item is this vintage J. Chen and Company 10 Litho. I don't know if it's Litho or Litho. Litho, Litho. I don't know. Either way. Um, tomato, tomato. It's a rabbit. It's a rabbit, an Easter rabbit pulling a wagon. There you go. So it's like tin. Super cute. Sold for $133.50 with 50 bids in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this inflatable Easter bunny in the original packaging. It's 84 inches. If you guys check out my videos, I have a video on inflatable bolo items to be on the lookout for. So you can check that out in my, uh, probably, I think it's under my category videos. It's in that playlist, or you can just search inflatable. The next item are these Anna Lee uh, dolls, and these are super, super cute. Uh, these kind of range. Some of them go for a lot. Some of them just do okay. They're great bread and butter items. I pick up Anna Lee whenever I see it, and if you see the paint on the face, they are very, very easy to um, identify if you see them. They all look very similar. Uh, let me go back here. See their faces. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Again, if I pick, if I see Annalie, I pick it up if it's in good condition and if I can get it for a good price. The next item are these little Jim Shore Heartland Creek mini egg shaped Easter chicks. It's a set of two. Very cute. Uh, they sold for $40 with 41 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, Victorian Blue Easter Egg Paper Mache Candy Containers. These are in the shape of an egg. They've got the bunny rabbit on the front. I have sold some of these. They do very well. Um, I think I still have one listed, actually. But it looks like this pattern um, sells for a lot. These two eggs sold for $91 with 41 bids and the buyer paid shipping. You know what? I think I have one of these left. I'm I'm not sure if I have it cross posted. So maybe when I finish this video, I will go over and cross post it to Mercari and Etsy. Maybe even Poshmark. The next item is this Dirk Nowitzki. 
limited edition Easter Forever Collectibles bobblehead. So looks like a basketball player dressed like an Easter bunny standing in an egg that is a bobblehead. There you have it. Sold for $75, 38 bids plus shipping. So especially with items like this, I'm not sure if this actually has a barcode, but I'm going to guess that it does. You can check the barcode or just type that information into the title and you'll be able to pull up comps. Okay, so this little Precious Moments Beginnings Baby Prayer Pal Bunny Rabbit Plush Prayer Easter. Okay, so this is kind of one of those things where maybe somebody had it and they lost it. I'm not sure, but this little guy went for 70, I should say this little gal, because she's pink, went for $70 with 38 bids plus shipping. I love the Rushtons. They are so cute. That So they have this really, uh, this face, I don't know if it's plastic or what, what it's made out of, but uh, super, super adorable. Let me see if I can find the, the tag. Okay, so this one it's written on, I don't know what it's written on, but it says copyright the Rushton Company. Maybe the leg, the bottom of the shoe. Oh, maybe it's the bottom of the shoe. So this sold for $285, 36 bids plus shipping. The next item are these Christopher Radko Easter glass blown ornaments. Very cute. Christopher Radko is collective that will help you identify if it's a Radco. See the star on it? So that's one identifying characteristic of the Radcos. They're really, really well made. But these sold for $153 with 34 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage estate signed Weiss, or I think it's Weiss. Um, it's an Easter bunny brooch pin. And it sold for $68.50 with 32 bids and free shipping. The next item is this Dimensions, the Bunny Patch Needlepoint Craft Kit. So um, these can do really well. I, I always pick up um, cross-stitch kits when I see them if they are priced reasonably. Uh, they range. If you can find the Dimensions Gold, I think it's gold. Now I'm not... Uh... I think it's gold. I don't know. I just did a video on uh, cross stitch. You guys can go check that out to see other high dollar cross stitch uh, kits that sell for a lot. There's certain ones that do better than others. This one sold for $51, 31 bids in the buyer paid shipping. This vintage 1980s Polly Finder, uh, I'm sorry, Polly Flinders Easter dress. Let me see if I can find a tag. There it is. Polly Flinders. Martha Miniatures is also a really good brand. If you want to see more on toddler dresses that you can sell for big money, go check out my toddler dresses bolo category video. This one sold for $135.50 with 30 bids and the buyer paid shipping. This is adorable. And this is for you crafters out there, people who are crafty. It just shows that if you make something that people like really want, they can be. They can go for a lot of money. This, I said a doily. Yeah, doily sold for $61 with 27 bids. They even auctioned it. I wonder what they started it out at. I'm always intrigued by people that hand make items like this. So $19.99. So I'm guessing that that seller was really, really happy. Let's go into see other items. Yeah, so look, they, it looks like they um, make a lot of really, really neat hand crocheted. Um, doilies. Really neat store. They don't have a lot available. And I wonder how much time that takes. I always like think, man, oh man, the amount of time that it takes to put something like that together. So really cool. That's their store if anyone's interested. The next item is these Oshkosh Bagosh Easter Bunny Rabbit Vest Back Overall Denim Bibs. $48 these sold for plus shipping. Okay, so Oshkosh Bagosh, some of them can go for over $100. I also have a video on this. I'm starting to get to the point where um, I'm doing a lot of category videos to help you guys learn about certain um, 
like categories. So this would be Oshkosh Bagosh items that sell for big money so that you guys know what to look for when you're sourcing for these items. So definitely check out that video also. This is a Peggy Carr tray. It's an Easter egg pattern. It's retired and that's what it looks like. Comes in the box. It sold for $120 and three cents with 25 bids. This is a brand I've never heard of. I've never seen anything like it. So um, I want to see how many unique bidders it had. Five unique bidders and they started it at $25. So and the winning, you know, the top two bidders have quite a bit of feedback. So, you know, sometimes when you see zero feedback winner, you know, it draws some flags. But that's why I like to look at the actual bid history. All right, Pez. I also have a category video on Pez dispensers to look for and what makes certain ones collectible and whatnot. If you guys are interested in that, you can go check out that video. But this Pez dispensers from the 1950s made in Austria and it has no feet and it's a bunny and it sold for $357 with 24 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these lot of three 20th anniversary Easter Care Bears, new with tags, sold for $103 with 24 bids plus shipping. All right, these are a pair of rare Union Dawn Featherstone Easter Mother Hen and Chicks blow molds from 1996. These little guys sold for $127.50 with 23 bids in the buyer paid shipping. Always, always, always look for blow molds. Um, look them up, check comps, but typically blow mold items do well. Even the smaller ones and the big outdoor ones do well also. So this is really, really cute. It's vintage Easter spell out Micah Birds Band Musicians Collectible Chicks with Box. How cute is that? People collect this stuff. They love it, all this vintage stuff. So definitely be on the lookout. Uh, great, you can pick these items up at thrift stores, um, estate sales, garage sales. A lot of people don't know that there's a lot of value in these things. So definitely be on the lookout. This sold for $149.99 with 23 bids and the buyer paid shipping. And again, you can see right here, made in Japan. If you see made in Japan, look it up for sure. The next item is this bunny rabbit oil painting. It says original by CES Animal Wildlife Pet Easter. So must be a particular artist, this CES. But this sold for $107.50, 22 bids in the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these little Knickerbocker vintage hard plastic male and female Easter bunnies. I'm not sure if those are blow mold or not. I, they look like they might be. So that would have been a good keyword if they are. But um, Knickerbocker's collectible also, but these sold for $75, 22 bids in the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these adorable little Livy and Luca Molly Bunny Girl White Leather Mary Jane shoes. And they're a toddler size six. They sold for $43, 20 bids in the buyer paid shipping. So hit that like button. Oh, it's not going back. I had this happen earlier. There we go. I accidentally, uh, I did a video before this and I accidentally went out <laughs> and had to come back in and the video was still rolling. So that was good. So um, yeah, hit that thumbs up. That helps the channel and be sure to comment. If you made it to the end of the video, comment. I made it to the end of the video. If you had a favorite bolo that I shared, like I love Japan, made in Japan um, items. Maybe I'll do a video on that. That would be fun. I might do that. So anyway, thanks for watching you guys. I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, it means a lot to me that you guys take the time to watch my videos. I hope you're learning. I hope you're finding the bolos and I'll see y'all real soon. Thanks for watching.